So the first sentence here is Hoi batrakoi angelus proston dia epempsam dioti monarchon uk eikon. So the subject is hoi batrakoi, the frogs. And then the main verb is epempsam. So this is a weak aorist. You've got the augment there, and then the third person plural aorist ending, epempsam. So that means they sent. And then the object is angelus, accusative plural of angelos, so it means messengers. And then pros plus accusative means towards, so pros ton dia means to Zeus. Because dia is the accusative from Zdeus, the god Zeus. Uh, and then dioti means because. And then uk eikon means they did not have. They did not have. Um, and then monarchon means uh, a ruler, like our English word monarch. And then, uh, so that whole sentence there is the frogs sent messengers to Zeus because they did not have a monarch. And then the next sentence is hoi ton batrakon angeloi elexan osdeu monarchos e ton theon. So this phrase at the beginning here, hoi ton batrakon angeloi, is a genitive sandwich. So it literally means the, of the frogs, messengers. Although in English we would say the messengers of the frogs, or the frogs, apostrophe, messengers. Um, so you've got nominative on the outside and genitive on the inside. Then elexan is weak aorist from lego, and it means they said. And they say ozdeu. Now zdeu, z e u, is the vocative form of zdeus, the god Zeus. And they say you are a. Right now the word a e i is difficult because it can mean if or it can mean you are. So you have to use the context to judge. So you are the ruler, monarchos, of the gods. Tone theon, genitive plural of theos. Uh, so that sentence means, O Zeus, you are the ruler of the gods. And then in the next sentence, Ara Ethelais monarchon tois batrakois pare um, Now, Ara doesn't really have its own meaning, it's just a word that signals that the sentence is a question. And then Ethelais means you wish or you want, second person singular from Ethelo. And then pare came to provide or produce. And then the object is monarchon, a ruler. And then tois batrakois is dative plural, meaning for the frogs. So the sentence means, do you wish to provide a monarch for the frogs? And then the next sentence, hosdeus e thaumase kai eripse xulon eis ton potamon. So the subject is hosdeus, Zeus. Because remember in Greek, uh, you say the Zeus or the Socrates. You use the definite article with a name. So Zeus, ethalmase, weak aorist, was amazed. This, so this is from thalmazdo. Because thalmazdo, which means to be amazed, is if you want to make it aorist, you have to put the augment in. So the E goes at the beginning. And then remember, you have to add an S to the stem, to the end of the stem. But the problem is that it's not very easy to add an S to a Z, because then you get thaumazd, something like that. You get a Z and then an S. So the Greeks just merged the two. So the Z and the S, or the zeta and the sigma, merge into just a sigma. So that's how you get ethaumasa as the aorist from thaumazdo. Uh, chi means and. And then eripse, this is the weak aorist from ripto, which means I throw. And the object is xulon, which means a log of wood. Not the log of wood, because that would be ton xulon, you'd need the definite article, but just xulon on its own, a log of wood. Because Greek has a definite article, but it doesn't have really an indefinite article. So xulon can mean a log of wood. And then ace plus accusative means into. So ace ton potamon means into the river. So that sentence is, Zeus was amazed and threw a log of wood into the river. 
and then hoi batra koi proton men phobon tu xulu eikon kai efeugon. So the subject is hoi batra koi, the frogs. And then proton means at first. And men is a word that you don't have to translate, but it introduces the first half of a contrast. So the bit with men, or the sentence with men, is going to contrast with another bit or sentence with the word de. And then akon means they had. And then phobon means fear. And then tu xulu is the genitive of xulos, so of the log of wood. And then kai means and, and efeugon means uh, they were running away, imperfect tense. So, um, and you can tell that you've got the augment, the letter E, and you've got the normal present stem, P-H-E-U-G, and then you've got the imperfect ending, O-N. Now, this is very similar to what the strong aorist would look like, um, but that would have the aorist, the strong aorist stem. So that would be F-U-G-O-N without the E in the middle. So that sentence means the frogs, at first, had fear of the wood, of the log of wood, and were running away. And then in the next sentence, epeta de, epe toxulon akineton emene, pollakis epitoxulo ekathisdon. So here the de introduces the second half of the contrast. So but then, so epeta means then or next. And then epe means when. So when toxulon, the log of wood, was remaining, emene, so that's the imperfect tense from meno, was remaining motionless, akineton. So the word, the adjective is akinetos, motionless, but here it's neuter to agree with toxulon. And then polakis means often. Ekathisdon is the imperfect tense from kathisdo, so they were sitting. And then epi plus dative means on, so on the log of wood, epitoxulo. And you can tell that xulo is dative singular because it has the um, iota subscript underneath the omegas. So the sentence means, but then, when the log of wood was remaining motionless, they often were sitting on the log of wood. And then the next sentence, Fobongar nun uk akon. So that means for now, gar nun. For in the sense of introducing an explanation. For now, uh, they did not have uk akon. They did not have fear. Fobon. So the sentence means for now, they did not have fear. And then the next sentence is elexan un toxulo, oxene, aratheos e, er anthropos er zdoon. So elexan means uh, they said. So that's weak aorist from lego. And again, lego, it's hard to add an s to the stem because you'd get a g and an s together. So you get something like elexa, which the Greeks didn't like very much. So the g and the s or the gamma and the sigma, merge into an X sound, or a xi. And then un means therefore. So therefore they said to the log of wood, dative singular, they said to the log of wood, o xene, o stranger. So xenos is second declension masculine, like logos, and xene is the vocative singular. So o stranger. And then ara introduces a question. And then A means you singular are. So are you a god, theos, or a man, er anthropos, so er means or, or a man, or an animal, er zdoon. Um, so that whole sentence there is, they said, therefore, to the log of wood, O stranger, are you a god, or a man, or an animal? Now, Allah means but, but, uh, well, so the sentence is Allah toxulon uk elexen. So Allah means but, 
Tok Sulon is uh, the log of wood. Uk means not, and Eleksen is again the strong heiress from Lego, so did not speak. So the sentence means but the log of wood did not speak. And then in the next paragraph, here's the first sentence: Hoy batrakoi uk ethelon tok sulon hos monarchon ekain dioti akineton kai ukresimon en. So the subject is hoy batrakoi the frogs. Then uk means not, and ethelon means they wanted or were wanting. So it's the imperfect tense from ethelo to wish or to want. Then toxulon is the log of wood. Hos means as. Monarchon means ruler. Um, and it's in the accusative case because it's referring back to xulon. And then ekein means to have. And then dioti means because. En is the main verb, meaning it was, imperfect third person singular from Amy. And then akineton means motionless. Kai means and. U means not, and kresimon means useful. So therefore, the whole sentence put together means the frogs were not wanting, or did not want, to have the log of wood as a ruler because it was motionless and not useful. And then the next sentence is Tus un angelus proston dia althis epemsan. Dioti ethelon ton theon allon monarchon parekein. So, tus angelus is accusative, so it's the object. So we'll come back to it. The main verb is epempsan, weak aorist from pempo. So, they sent, and un means therefore. And then here's the object, tus angelus, the messengers. Pros ton dia, to Zeus. And then alphys means again. Dioti means because. Ethelon means they were wanting, or they wanted. Then ton theon means the god, accusative case. They wanted the god to provide, para king, another ruler. So alon means another, and monarchon means a ruler. So you put that together, you get, therefore, they sent the messengers to Zeus again, because they wanted the god to provide another ruler. And then here's the next sentence, quite a long one. Hoi ton batrakon angeloi elexan. Os deu, hoi batrakoi ethelusin alon monarchon ekein. Dioti hop protos akinetos kai ukresimos estin. So it starts with the genitive sandwich. The of the frogs messengers or in better English, the messengers of the frogs, or the frogs, apostrophe, messengers. And then Alexan is strong heiress from Lego, and it means they said. And then Ozdeu means Ozeus. The frogs, hoi batrakoi, want, ethelusin, third person singular present tense from ethelo, to have, ekein, infinitive, another, another ruler, Alon monarchon, because Dioti, the first hoprotos, um, is estin, third person singular from Amy, is akinetos, motionless, kai ukresimos, and not useful. So the whole sentence there is. Um, Ozeus, the frogs want to have another ruler because the first is motionless and not useful. And then in the next sentence, ha uns deus orge epempsen hydran tois batra kois. So un means therefore, and ha deus is Zeus. And then orge means in anger or with anger because it's the dative singular from orge meaning anger. And you can tell it's dative singular because of the iota subscript under the eta, under the e at the end. Epempsan, weak heiress, means he sent. Hudran means a hydra or a monstrous water snake. Uh, and then tois batrakois is dative plural, so it means to 
the frogs. So that sentence means, therefore Zeus, in anger, sent a hydra to the frogs. And then the next sentence is, Her un hydra monarchos ton batrakon en. So therefore, un, the hydra, her hydra, uh, was en, third person singular imperfect from Amy, the, was ruler, monarchos, of the frogs, ton batrakon. So that's genitive, plural. So that sentence means, therefore, the hydra was ruler of the frogs. And then in the next sentence, Herhudra tus batrakus es thien. So Herhudra is the subject, the hydra. And then es thien is the third person singular imperfect of estheo, meaning I eat. So it means was eating or kept eating. And the object is tus batrakus, the frogs. So that sentence means the hydra was or kept eating the frogs. And then in the last sentence here, uk ae un hos homuthos fine kakon esti monarchon argon ekein. So uk means not, ae means always, un means therefore, hos means as, uh, homuthos means the story, and fine means shows, third person singular from fino in the present tense. And then kakon esti means it is bad. So esti means it is and kakon means bad. Uh, and it's neuter because there's no particular subject. The subject is just it. It is bad. To have, a king, a monarchon argon, a, uh, a, a ruler, monarchon, and argon means lazy. So the whole sentence together means, therefore, it is not always bad, as the story shows, to have a lazy ruler.